They took Michael off in a white van uh, when the judge denied his motion for a mistrial. And today, or tomorrow, they're going to bring him back to us in a white van. So I, I've been looping this thought in my head about that day, March 20th, when they took Michael from us, and how raw that was after the judge, as I said, denied that motion for a mistrial. So I kind of keep loop, looping through that and thinking about how awful that day was, which is weird because I, I should be happy that tomorrow is going to be the polar opposite of what we felt that day. But it, it's just unbelievable that we're at this moment um, where he's actually going to walk out of there. This hug was different because, you know, it's, I'm outside of prison for the first time in five years. I mean, it's, it was uh, uh, Shannon running up and, and almost tackling me. You didn't know it, but I almost fell down. Up, not down. Up. This guy's up. best friend. <laughs> <laughs> you haven't touched uh, an iPhone. It's been five years. Yeah. Um, Yeah, I tried to tell her a couple weekends ago, like how much you know, she meant to me, you know, her and, and my dad also. And, and uh, I, I mean, all I could do is you know, thank them you know, for what they've done, you know, putting in all that that time and effort. And it, it's something that that I appreciate, and something that I won't forget what they've done. And my mom and, and dad don't just raise awareness for me, they, they've raised awareness for, for other guys that are in here also.